There are two ways to add devices to Pharos control. Devices can be added manually or discovered automatically. Adding devices manually is suitable for adding one or two devices, but automatic discovery is far more convenient when adding multiple devices that are in the same subnet. Click the Add button on the toolbar in the Device tab, and a dialog box will appear. In the dialog box, you can configure the parameters of the new device. Choose the product from the drop-down list and fill in the correct IP address for the device. Otherwise, the connection will fail. The MAC address will be updated automatically when the connection is established. So you must enter a MAC address to complete this step, but it does not have to be correct. You can also add devices using the Discover function, which is sometimes more efficient. This is especially helpful if you are adding multiple devices or if you do not know the IP address of the devices. Click the blue Discover button on the toolbar in the Device tab, and a dialog box will appear. There are two different discovery methods that you can use, Auto Mode and Custom IP Range Scan Mode. If the new device exists in the same subnet as the server, Auto Discovery Mode is recommended. Select Auto and click OK. Pharos Control will then provide a list of discovered devices. You can also discover devices using the Custom IP Range Scan option by entering the IP address of the target network. The target network and Pharos Control server can be in the same subnet or different subnets. If the target network and the Pharos Control server are not in the same subnet, please make sure that the devices in the target network and the Pharos Control server can communicate with each other. Enter the IP address of the target network and click OK to begin discovering devices. Progress is shown at the bottom of the device tab. The progress bar indicates real-time discovery progress and new devices will be displayed in the new column as well as the device list at the top of the tab.